Hi guys! So, let's do some energy healing. First I'm going to get um, choose a card. We're going to use the unicorn card. So yeah, if you're new, my name is Lindsay. I do healings for Twin Flames and Light Workers. So be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. <clears throat> so, we're going to work with the unicorn cards. <laughs> And let's see, we can choose a card and then we will do some energy clearing based on the message. And let's also call upon God, Source, Universe, Angels and Guides, and the highest beings of infinite love and infinite light to help with this healing. Well, I guess that's the card. And allow this healing to go to you and your twin flame, your loved ones, the entire collective, and beyond. This is something better for the highest and the greatest good of all. I'm going to pause this for a sec. Okay. So this is the card. <laughs> it says, receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. Oh, this is powerful. A gift is coming to you soon. And look at the picture. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's a unicorn and she's holding... I'm not sure what she's holding. Like some sort of crystal <laughs> or stone. It's, it's very pretty though. And she has roses in her hair. It's a very fem feminine energy. Um, butterflies. Um, that means like transformation, right? It's in the dark. So the butterflies are <laughs> coming out. The light is coming back. So I know we've been clearing out some deep, deep, deep uh, things in the past few weeks. A lot of the dark layers have been coming up. Uh, we worked on that in the weekly download this week. So if you haven't got that one yet and you feel guided to, you can check it out. The link's below. Um, if you're new, every week I create a weekly download and it's like an extended healing. They're usually about 50 minutes long or more. <laughs> like sometimes like this one is 57 minutes long and we just go really deep in there and clearing out, <laughs> clearing out things based on the energies that are going on and the intentions of the week that, that um, I'm guided to uh, work on. And it's, it goes to you, your twin flame, and also for the whole collective. So it's a very powerful and very beneficial. Um, so yeah, check it out if you feel guided to. But um, yeah, so this this card is very positive, and uh, letting us know that all our hard work's paying off. And um, uh, we, as like individuals and as a collective, we are heading into the higher levels, right? So in order to move up into a more of a abundant abundance mindset right and coming from a place of unconditional love we gotta let go of the parts of us that are still fearful still living in a scarcity um yeah still letting the fear control us if you want to all move forward we have to we got to really um work on that and face face those things within us that sometimes uh, might not be so comfortable but we can do it and when you do it you realize oh it wasn't that bad actually because then you're free you're free like a butterfly to fly and go to all the places you're meant to go. So <laughs> let's do some let's do some clearing. <laughs> um, first, let's clear blocks to receiving. So sometimes we can have blocks to receiving healing and love and money and all that good stuff. So I'm just doing like a general clearing of whatever it is that's blocking you from receiving whatever it is that you're meant to receive. That's in the highest good. We also can block union, twin flame union. Things like that, right? Okay. A lot of anger. So anger uh, also clogs up our energy bodies, right? Anger that's not been uh, acknowledged. It can stay deep within us and it just starts to build up. It can be like turn into resentment and bitterness. And we might not even be aware of it that it's still there because it could be from when we were really young as children or even from other lifetimes. And if we haven't dealt with that, it's still going to be in there and clogging up our energy bodies from uh, really allowing more of that love and the joy and the happiness. So we're um, clearing out some layers of that gunk, we can call it. Just dark. It just looks really dark and stagnant. And just helping to move it through so that you can start to... Um, to look at things and face things and it can flow out instead of being afraid to look at it and then it just stays there. Um, it can also affect our health, right? When we have lots of anger, old and, and old, like really, really um, deep emotions that we haven't dealt with and it gets really stuck in our energy bodies, um, it can lead to illness, right? <clears throat> so we really want to 
work on this regularly, it really helps to keep your energies nice and flowy. And your ener your health is going to be a lot more better, right? You're going to feel lighter, feel brighter. Everything works better when you have good energy flow. <laughs> okay, let's just see what else you're going to... Oh, that's also clear blocks to abundance. So abundance and receiving, it is connected, right? Um, sometimes if we don't believe we are worthy, and the card says, believe you are worthy of abundance. So anything blocking you from knowing your true worth, that you are so worthy, you're so loved, and you deserve everything and more that's in your highest good, that's clear. And any resistance, I'm feeling some resistance to releasing. So clear anything blocking you from releasing so you can be really open to this. Open to all the opportunities, open to all the love. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I want to just tune in a bit more, see if there's anything else. Okay. So I'm also getting guided to connect you more to your team, your spirit team. So your angels, your guides, because they can help you out, right? Sometimes you don't even realize we're not even allowing help. We have all this help around us, but if parts of us don't feel we're worthy, or we don't even realize they're there, Right? So just clearing blocks so that you can have more of that awareness of how much love and support you have <laughs> all around you. Sometimes you can feel like we're doing it all alone, but it's not true at all. You're never alone. There's so much love around you. <sighs> Let's clear the loneliness. The parts of you that feel like you're doing this all by yourself and nobody loves you or supports you or feeling left out. So a lot of times, like, um, Lightworkers, star seeds, twin flames, they feel left out. They feel like nobody gets them. And I totally understand because that's how I used to feel. But sometimes we, we, if you have that belief, you can actually be pushing opportunities and people away, right? So every time when you're thinking, oh yeah, I'm too different from everyone else, nobody's going to get me, um, you're creating that story, right? You're recreating that story. So I will just... Um, just uh, ask you to um, to look maybe at your stories that you're telling yourself. Is that really true? Are you really that different? You know, that's how I used to feel. Like I felt like, oh, I'm so sensitive. I can never get along with other people. But recently, well, not recently. <laughs> it's been in the last few years. It's um, um, connecting more people, different types of people, um, trying new things like taking dance classes and other types of uh, classes or whatever it is that I'm interested in and just meeting so many different people and realizing that we have a lot more similarities than you realize. So maybe they might not be as sensitive as you energetically, but the really cool thing is the more that you accept yourself, you can pretty much get along with almost everybody who has an open mind. I mean, there's just some people that can be really mean and you probably can't really get along with them at this time if they're, they're really shut down to open, to being open. But, um, you know, there's always ex exceptions. But what I found is that the more that I accepted myself and stopped thinking that, oh, I'm so weird or no one's going to get me, um, it, just, it just opened up a lot to connecting to to connecting to people and experiences. So um, I just invite you to uh, just take a look at what kind of stories you're telling are telling yourself because cause on one hand it is true, you can feel lonely if nobody gets you, but then you don't want to perpetuate that, that uh, story, right? Because they're all stories and you can choose what story you want to believe. You can choose that you're surrounded by all this love and that people truly do understand because we can connect from our hearts and we are all human, right? It doesn't matter um, if you're a light worker or a star C, we're ultimately here having a human experience, which means we're all connected at the core, within our hearts, within our souls. So the more that you can feel the similarities and look for the similarities, I mean, and really embrace and accept more parts of you, you'll see that it's it's not alone. It doesn't have to be a lonely experience, right? So I'm just uh just try it out and uh, explore the stories that you've been telling yourself and see how that um, works out for you. Because yeah, I I definitely resonate with that. Just feeling like my family doesn't get me, or you know nobody gets me. I I totally felt like that for many years. So. 
Um, as I changed my story and started to really love and embrace all those parts of me that I thought were too weird and <laughs> people were going to think I'm crazy, I was like, all right, it's okay, because you know what? There are always going to be some people that think I'm crazy for doing what I'm doing, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they think. What's most important is that I'm living my greatest life, the life that I truly want to live, and a life of happiness and joy. And if other people want to join me, then that's great, right? So you don't have to care about him um, too much about what the other people are saying because they can say whatever you want, but if you're happy, you're living your life, it's not going to affect you. So <clears throat> I just wanted to share that because I know there's a lot of people out there that can feel really lonely sometimes. And I found the best way is that when you feel lonely is to reach out, to reach out, talk to someone, and also maybe do something that's beyond yourself. Sometimes we get stuck in our own problems, and uh, we we just get stuck. But when you start to look beyond that and, and um, helping other people maybe, or volunteering maybe, whatever it is that you feel passionate about, you're going to see that it really opens opens you up and you don't have to feel like, feel just just miserable basically so yeah that's my message i hope that um <laughs> i hope that this healing helped you i will see you guys next week oh yeah question of the day i didn't do it yes the other day question of the day um what is your favorite what's your favorite what is your favorite hobby or what's your favorite activity you like to do that just that you're just so passionate about and it makes you so happy. If you want to share below in the comments, let me know. Um, also check out this week's healing download if you haven't. It's called Twin Flame Lightworker Activation. So it'll really help you to step up, um, clear out the dark, dark closets and basements within all of us and really move forward and in a powerful way. Um, and if you want to get a personalized healing session, you can do that as well. So all the information is below and we can, I can help you out on whatever it is that you're going through in your own personal healing journey. So we can work on whatever it is that you're going through. So whether it's Twin Flame related or anything, just help you to clear your energies and create a really clear path and help you to get aligned into your power, into your heart. And yeah, start to feel really, really good. So... Uh, we'll see you guys uh, next week. <laughs> next week. Bye.